what's going on you guys? Welcome to Movement RX Mobility, uh, Mythic Mobility. Um, I am Dr. Teresa Larson. I'm here with uh, Chianti Story. Uh, he is an adaptive athlete that we've been working with for a while. Um, amazing athlete, went to the World Games 2013, kicks some royal ass. Okay, also we've got another special guest here. You want to introduce these guys? Oh, okay. So you have Sawyer and then you have my service dog, Coach um, the loveliest dogs ever, taking care of him. So what I want to show you guys today is uh, talk about the squat. Um, especially, so uh, Keontae's got a below the knee amputation, and this is technically your walking leg, right? Yes. Okay, so obviously you, you know that there, he had an injury there. However, the biggest thing with the squat is how your pelvis and spine are set up. Right, we always talk about spine first, mobility wide. Um, so I want you to go ahead and show me a squat, just this way you squatted before, and I'm going to nice thing, nice, we've got some tape here so you can see a spine a little bit better. Um, so go ahead and squat down. So go ahead and hold up for a second, I know you'll do that. So what you'll see here is that he wants to shift his weight over to his left leg, right? Because his right leg is a little bit, is a little bit lighter. And he also wants to shift forward on his feet. Um, and he's getting a little bit of right side bending and gapping on that left side of the spine. So right side bending, kind of opening up on the left. Go ahead and stand back up. Now that's going to be kind of a problem when he lifts with low. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and still face away. Um, he's going to have to be more anterior driven with his stance. But what I'm worried about here is that he's driving his knees out and he's pushing his butt back a little bit more. So go ahead and do that. Knees out, butt back. Push that right knee out, push that right knee out. Going full right there. Okay, arms out straight. So right there already, it's kind of helped fix the spinal, the right side bending, and left tension that he's got here. So it's a little bit more symmetrical than it was. Right, but he's still more driven, the um, anterior driven here, which is something that might not be able to go away due to the fact that he's got almost a fused ankle on that side. Go ahead and stand back up. Now we can do one more. Thank you, Sawyer. Um, put your midfoot on the top of the yeah, go and step forward a little bit more. Good. Other side as well. Good. So we're going to use the plates almost like they're Olympic lifting shoes. We'll give him a little bit of support through his heels because he's going to be more anterior driven. So go ahead and squat down for me. Knees out, butt back. What I could do is give him a give him something to cue here. But as you can see already, his spine is much more symmetrical. Am I going to load him yet in this pattern? Probably not. But at least we know that there is uh, symmetry there, which is huge. Go ahead and come back up. Now, Alec, if you would come around to the side and just show his foot position. So I want you guys to understand, when we get back on the plates, that be more going to squat down. Being more driven forward in his squat with his heel coming up is okay, especially with someone who's got a below the knee amputation. The key here is that his pelvis and spine is more set up. But the fact that he's more driven forward, you know, we're going to work on the ankle mobility. However, he's still using his glutes here. He is a little more quad driven, but that is okay. Go ahead and come back up. Thank you. All right, you guys. Well, this is the um, adaptive athlete version of this week's, this month's mobility. Thank you for being a guest. You're awesome. You guys can check him out. What's your website? Oh, www.comedystore.com. Check it out, you guys. We were here at Fathom Cross. It's a sunny day. Going to the 2014 games today. See you next week.